Hey what's up guys this is Sunip Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to do boot pop OS 22.04 and Windows 10 on a legacy BIOS system so without wasting any more time let's get started. I've made this video 2 years ago but some things have changed since then so I'm making a new guide. So to begin first of all open your web browser and search for pop OS. Click on the first link by system76. Go to download and download the pop os version according to your graphics card if you don't have an nvidia graphics card then choose the first option to download after that open another tab and search for rufus click on the first link and download the latest version of rufus Once you have downloaded both files, you need to insert your pen drive which is at least of 8 GB and please make sure to back up your pen drive data because it will be lost. And after you have inserted your pen drive, you need to open Rufus. And you need to select the pop OS ISO file which you just downloaded earlier. After that, click on start. This process is going to take some time so I'm just going to cut this part. So after this process is finished, close everything, right click on your start menu and open disk management. So once disk management is open, you need to make sure that you don't have more than 3 partitions and if you do have more than 3 partitions then you need to make an extended partition. You can find a guide on YouTube or somewhere else on the internet. Now right click on the largest local disk and select shrink volume now give about 40 GB or more size to the pop OS and click on shrink now once that's done you need to close disk management and reboot your computer and you need to boot into the boot selection menu of your motherboard now while your computer is starting and showing motherboard logo, press F12 key to boot into boot selection menu which is the common key for most computers and select the USB option from the list. Now it will boot into pop OS installation medium and if F12 is not your boot key then please look up online for your boot menu key. So finally we are booted inside our pop OS installation. Now first things first you need to select your language and your keyboard layout. After that you will be presented with two options clean install and custom. Now you need to choose custom advanced option and click on next. Now click on modify partitions at the bottom left. Now this will open gpart8. Now you need to select the unallocated space which we created from windows and right click on it and select new. Now leave the new size as it is and select the file system as ext4 and click on add. And if you want a swap partition you can also create a swap partition before creating our root partition. But swap is totally optional so it is not really necessary. Now after that click on this green check mark to make changes. Now in the installer you will see a green colored partitions. Now click on this green color partition and select format and root use this partition as root. If you have created swap partition it will show up as red color and you need to use that partition as swap. After that click on erase and install now give your user details and your password now it will start installing pop os on your system and this may take a while so i'm also going to cut this part as well so after the installation process is completed you need to click on restart device 
and while your computer is showing your motherboard logo press f2 key to enter bios menu and go to the boot option and make sure that your hard disk where pop os is installed is in the first priority Now it will directly boot into pop os without showing a menu to boot into windows so you don't need to panic we are going to fix that later on now we have booted into pop os now i'm just going to quickly complete this quick setup Now let's fix our boot menu. So first of all, connect to the Wi-Fi or Ethernet. And after you have done that, open your terminal and type sudo apt update. After that, type sudo apt install os dash proper. And after OS dash proper is installed, you need to type sudo space OS dash proper. This will look for other operating systems on your hardware. Now you will see something like slash dev slash windows chain. After that, you need to type sudo update dash grub. But as you can see, windows is not detected in the grub. So we are going to fix that as well. So you need to type sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub. Now go to the bottom of the file and you need to type this line in all capital letters grub underscore disable underscore os underscore proper is equals to false. Now press Ctrl plus O to save the file and press Ctrl plus X to exit out of nano and you need to rerun the command sudo space update dash grub and this time the grub will detect windows 10. Also it is better if you install windows and linux on the same hard drive. It also works on separate drives but it works best if you install it on the same drive. Now let's reboot to check if the grub menu is showing up and it is showing windows option or not. So now as you can see whenever we turn on our computer we will be getting this grub menu to choose between the operating systems first option to boot into pop os and the third option to boot into windows 10 so let's try to boot into windows 10 for now but as you can see the windows 10 boot animation is all messed up so we are also going to fix this later Now let's reboot into Pop OS.
now to fix the windows 10 boot animation open your terminal and type the command sudo nano slash etc slash default slash grub which we entered earlier now find the line which says grub underscore terminal is equals to console and you need to uncomment the line by removing the hash in front of it and press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit nano after that you need to run the command sudo space update dash grub now let's reboot into windows to check if the animation is fixed So now as you can see our Windows 10 boot animation is fixed. So this is the guide for installing Pop OS and Windows 10 on a legacy system. Now I'm going to show a guide to remove Pop OS from the dual boot. So for this you need to open your Windows settings, go into updates and security and click on recovery and click on advanced startup. Now click on troubleshoot and then advanced option and then choose command prompt. Now it will reboot your PC and you need to choose windows boot manager in this option. Now choose your user account and type your password if you have. Now it will open a command prompt. Now you need to type the command bootrec.exe forward slash fix mbr and press enter. Now this will fix the bootloader and remove the pop os grub. After that you need to type exit and then choose the option continue to windows 10. So once you have booted into windows now you can open disk management and delete the pop os partition and reclaim the space. So that's it for the video guys thank you for watching I hope you enjoyed this video and found it helpful and if you did please leave a like and subscribe to my channel thank you.